What up, Hard Squad, and welcome to another Guess That Grade. Hopefully, I did that in the right order. Today, we are going to be grading some very, very rare new cards. They are actually called staff cards, and I think you are gonna like it because you don't see these too often. But if you're new to this series, I will be showcasing some very, very rare Pokemon cards, one at a time. We will take a look at the condition of the card, and we will be going to a certain grading company. It could be PSA, it could be Beckett. Most of the time, it's Beckett, and that is what it will be today. We will be going to Beckett Grading Services after taking a look at about five rare Pokemon cards, and I'm gonna need your help in predicting the grades, or as the title says, guess that grade. And there are four different categories when looking and grading a card. There is the corners of a card, there's the surface, the edges, and last but not least, there is the centering. Yes, the centering. I think I said all four. If not, they will have been on screen but we're gonna take a look at the cards in the same video. We're gonna get the cards graded and reveal the results. Now, before we do, if you're new to the channel, my name is Leonhardt. I do Pokemon card openings of expensive, shiny cardboard. Please, please, please consider subscribing to the channel and as always, leave a like. Let's get this video to 20,000 likes, especially if you like this series, the Guess That Grade series. First card is from a very, very popular set. That is Hidden Fates. Specifically, this guy. A Mewtwo GX that I pulled in last week's video where I pulled the two Charizard cards. Now, this is arguably one of the top five cards that you can pull from Hidden Fates, and it's Mewtwo, he's awesome. But why am I getting this particular one graded? That is because, upon closer glance, this card just might be in perfect condition. Now, we have been spurned in the past thinking a card is perfect, but let's take a closer look at those four categories. First off, let's take a look at the centering, and this is a great card, the Hidden Fates, to look at the centering specifically because of the black outline on the border of the card. And taking a look, it really, really does look congruent on all four sides, at least on the front, because centering is one of the most important categories when it comes to getting a perfect score. Taking a look at the back centering, I mean, if this is not absolute perfect centering, I don't know what is. Because I've gotten 10 on centerings before that weren't even perfect. And I've gotten 9.5 on centerings that were perfect. So, from my experience, this looks like absolute flawless centering. Let's go ahead and take a look at the corners. Uh, probably the second most important thing as far as usually getting dinged on. And uh, taking a look. Now, it may be a tad bit of whitening. I don't know. From there, it looks perfect. Otherwise, you can kind of see something right there. But otherwise, edges look fine. Corners look good on that one. Corners look good. And corners look good. Gosh, that's amazing. Usually a card, there's like something wrong with it. But the surface... We'll take a look at next. You can you can definitely like get closer and see if there is some sort of ding on this type of shiny full art. But I mean, look at that. Look at it. It's it's beautiful. Uh, which is why I'm gonna say uh, I'm gonna say as we gently put this back in. For my prediction is a. Whoops. Let's get in focus. For this shiny Mewtwo from Hidden Fates. A BGS 10 pristine though, not black label, but a gold label. But I wouldn't be surprised if it came back a black label. That would be insane. So that's my prediction for this guy, Mewtwo GX. The next cards are all from Vivid Voltage, but they are also very, very rare and exclusive. Let's go ahead and show the first one. The Staff Promo Cards, only able to be gotten 
not from the pre-release boxes, but from a little package that comes with four of these. And they're specifically released for different stores that sell, you know, Pokemon cards. And the obviously the biggest difference, because everything else is the same, has a little golden embroidered stamp that says staff on the actual hollow foil part. But otherwise, it has what, you know, what any pre-release box promo card would have is the Vivid Voltage Sword and Shield logo. Um, for these, I don't think they're in perfect condition, but at the same time, we'll take a look and it doesn't really matter because uh, especially the next, the, the two, the three that are coming up after this guy, sorry, Don fan, uh, you're really, really gonna like. But taking a look at centering, looks like it may be just a tad off from right to left, but I've seen worse and I've seen worse. Did that make sense? Probably not, but taking a look at the back, Centering looks, I mean, it, it probably could pass off for almost perfect, I would say. There is the corner for that one. Looks good. Looks good. I guess you can partially say maybe like the cut of the corner, maybe a little bit too like 90 degree angle-ish. Like you can kind of see right there, it's not really circle-ish, but at the same time, that's just how the cards were cut. And then Maybe a little bit whitening for the one corner that has whitening for that one. So I'm going to say still confidently it's going to get a 9.5. Um, I'd be surprised for my prediction for the Dawn fan is a BGS 9.5. I'd be surprised if it gets anything lower, seriously. But and I don't think it's going to get a 10 for that one. Now we got a big fan favorite. That is this guy. Snorlax Staff Card. And... Uh, it is a good card because he's not sleeping or eating in it. He's literally about to squash somebody and body slam somebody. And uh, let's take a look at this one and get our predictions in. Oh, uh, for this one, I think centering is actually better than the Dawn fan. So that's a good thing. So perfect centering. Um, I don't see any crazy print lines or anything on the Snorlax. Now that's the cloud right there. So that doesn't really count. And uh, taking a look at the back. Oh no, is there uh so there may be like an actual surface ding right there. So that's kind of unfortunate. Corner, little whitening at the top right. I'll try to go slow for y'all, sorry, just to give y'all some time. Um but everything looks good there. There's that corner, little whitening right there. And maybe a speck. Oh, it comes off! It came off! Yay! So, for this one, I still think for the Snorlax, my prediction is going to be a BGS 9.5 gold label. Um, may not be the strongest one, but I still think it'll be very, very nice. And, you know, at this point, getting all of these in 9.5 uh, would be beautiful, especially with all of them being uh, staff cards. Now we got the two heavy hitters. I'm talking about Lugia and then, of course, Charizard after this. But... I honestly think the Lugia one may be more like, what is the word? Majestic, strong, stunning, and brave. It really is a gorgeous card. And let's take a closer look at this one. I really do hope this one comes back in great condition. Centering looks uh, looks perfect on this one. Um, let's take a look at the print lines or anything. I know it's difficult with the holographic -y style on it. Otherwise, looks very, very nice. Getting a closer look at the corners. Not wanting to get in focus for us. There we go. All right, Lugia. So it looks like a little bit, a little bit of whitening at the top right. Overall for that corner looks very nice. This corner looks very nice. And last but not least, this corner. Also looks very nice. All right, so. This should come back and my prediction is a BGS 9.5, but a strong boy. So a strong Lugia for this one. And then last but not least, it's it's still an amazing card. The Charizard. I mean, I love the artwork for this one in particular, but now that it has the staff logo on it specifically, makes it a very, very sought after and rare card. And it's Charizard. It's Charizard. But between you and me, I kind of like the Lugia one better. But uh, but hey, you can't go wrong. Can't go wrong. He's even about to eat the logo. Centering wise, it looks 
it, you know, it may be a tad off from like the bot, like the top may be a bit shorter than the other sides, but hey, can't say much on that. Uh, see any print lines or anything? I'll give you a little bit of time just to look on your end, but I don't see any. Now, taking a look at the back, there's something very, very interesting about this card, and I, I'm going to be very curious to see how this ends up. That is specifically, as it gets in focus for y'all, is the top. Now, from video purposes, this does look like there's flawless, nothing wrong with the top, I believe. But if, like, holding it in different ways in the light, maybe more so you can see it on video on the right side, it looks like how the card was cut. There's, like, a white line going across the entire, entire, the entire top. So that's what I'm really worried, because that can really affect the grade of the card. And otherwise, I mean, we'll take a look at the corners. Maybe a little bit of whitening at uh, that one. Looks good. Looks good and looks good. However, the cut of it may be a little bit more in line with the other one where it's not exactly a circle, but that's just how they were cut. So it really leads me to the edge at the top may have some whitening going across the entire top just because it was printed like that, not because of how it was handled or anything. So still though, I'm going to say this gets a BGS or Beckett 9.5 because I could be crazy talking about that top up there. And then just for video purposes, take a look at all four staff promo cards from the newest Pokemon set, Vivid Voltage on screen. Definitely, definitely excited to see the grades. And what do you know? We're gonna go to Beckett and then reveal the grades. Let's go. And we're back in the studio. Inside, there are the results of our staff Pokemon cards. The Shiny Mewtwo and Fame and Fortune. Or just expensive shiny cardboard nonetheless. But before we get into this box, as I will set it right here, there are several graded Pokemon cards you may have seen in past episodes of Guess That Grade that are actually available to y'all if you would like to purchase, and I will be selling them for a little bit less than market just because I'd like to make some room so I can get more stuff, so I can open up more stuff. It's an endless cycle of craziness. Here is the first card, is that shiny or just regular Char- I don't know why I keep on doing it. The regular Charizard V, but it is a gold label. BGS, 10, pristine. Everything's perfect except the centering is a 9.5. So this guy uh, is for sale and please only serious inquiries uh, email me, but it's literally only gonna be responded to if they are serious. Next up is my first ever Rainbow Rare Charizard from Champion's Path, the Charizard VMAX card. This one came back back at 9.5, but it does have two 10s for the centering and edges. Not too bad. Surface, I don't know what happened to you. So that one's available. This is a, an incredibly rare card. The Championship Arena card from the 2005 Pokemon World Championships. This was like slid under the door or handed to just the few people that were there. Doesn't really matter too much of the condition. It's an 8.5 near mint to mint, so you get a little gold stamp instead of the uh, plastic one. Uh, the centering was definitely the main thing wrong with it, but other than that, that was the only way to get this card. Very expensive card, valuable card, rare card, but it would be great to somebody's collection, especially if you were actually there. Then we have this pristine gold label Zacian, the original amazing rare that I pulled from that legendary heartbeat legendary opening. That's available as well. It has three tens and a 9.5 for centering. Then we have a random Deoxys EX that I did pull from an EX uh, Emerald pack. Yep, that one got a mint nine, but you'll look, the surface got a 10. Corners and all that other jazz are actually really, really good scores. You can even try to regrade this guy. Uh, definitely PSA nine, I would say. So there we go, Deoxys EX. It's beautiful, it's awesome. Heavy hitter here, a first edition Raikou, yeah, from Neo Revelation. It's actually an 8.5, and this card is a very valuable card, and uh, it's in very nice condition, too. So, all of these were on previous Guess That Great episodes, and last but not least is this guy, the Pikachu VMAX, but this is the promo one that was only able to be gotten 
from those random Japanese promo packs. This one got a 9.5. The surface should be better, but it's an 8.5. The rest of it were 10s. Yeah, how about that? So, those are available. They're going to go really, really fast too. But here it is, the box. We got the staff promo cards, and we are going to get right into it. And hopefully not get spoiled. The great is this. Okay, this is the back. We're going to put it like this. And uh, what do we got? It's the Mewtwo. So for this Hidden Fates Shiny Mewtwo we pulled the other week, uh, my prediction was a Beckett Pristine 10 Gold Label. Let's see. A Beckett 9.5. This is the face of semi-disappointment. So the centering got a 9? What? No. Centering is way better than a 9. But the corner's got a 10. So I'll get a little bit closer for y'all. Corners got a 10, surface and edges both 9.5s, which I can see the surface and edges, you know, they're looking at it closer than I did. But for centering purposes, I've seen a lot, lot worse get 9.5s. This should definitely be a 9.5 for centering. That being said, because that's it's not bad. It's not bad at all. That being said, the uh, centering, I mean, the, the score wouldn't have been jumped up even though it was a 9.5. It's still got a gold label 9.5, which is very, very nice. So. This one will be also available. Uh, population, I believe there was like 15 black labels out there. Yeah, and um, about, this is probably the 44th or 45th, 9.5. So nothing too, too crazy. Not a lot of them out there, but then again. So uh, there we go. Price will have been on screen for this guy, the shiny Mewtwo. Overall, the corners got 10s, which is fantastic. Surface and edges, 9.5s. Uh, but the centering, I mean, I've been holding it up just so y'all can see. So there we go with that. Next up, it's all staff Vivid Voltage promo cards from here. Which one this will be? I don't know. The Don Fan. Now for this one, I believe my prediction was a BGS, or all of them basically. They were all predicted to be BGS 9.5. Some of them stronger than the others. I thought this one would be a 9.5. So let's see. A 9? What? <laughs> Oh, I'm so confused right now. Surface got a 10, okay? And corners in centering both got nines, and then the edges was a 9.5. So, centering wise, I probably did note earlier on, because I re recorded this, you know, ahead of time, the first part. Centering does look off from right to left, but is it nine worthy? I don't know, but we'll leave that fine. Corner's got a 9. That is what I'm very, very curious about. Uh, as there's nothing on that corner. Nothing on that corner. Maybe a speck of whitening at that corner. Maybe. And then, looks like a speck of whitening there. I don't know. I've seen much worse get 9.5s for corner-wise. So, uh, pretty upset about that. Because I want these all to be in... Beckett 9.5s for the staff ones. There's a little staff symbol. Uh, and this is for Vivid Voltage, the newest set. So, a little upset about that one, but that's okay. The main ones are the the, uh, the next three that are coming up. Will it be the Lugia? Will it be the Snorlax? All right, so BGS 9.5 was my prediction for this guy. Another nine, what is going on? <laughs> now the centering gets a 10. Corners and surface gets nines. I'm really, really confused right now. So the edges got a 9.5. I can see that, make or break, it's fine. That was not the right words to use. Corners and surface both got nines. Obviously we can look at the corners. So like maybe because these are not as rounded, like, and that's just because of like a, you know, a printing type of thing because, and that's just, uh, yeah, that's on the case. There's no whitening. There's no whitening on these corners, everybody. There's no whitening, no damage. So it must be because of the corners are just so, they're, they're not perfectly curved. Yeah, how about that? So surface, that was a nine. Um, so there's something on the surface, whether it be a factory print line or something. Um, this got a nine, so mint nine. So once again, uh, the first two, the Snorlax, and I was really wanting all of these to be back at 9.5s, BGS 9.5s. Uh, now they're nines. That's okay. Pride aside, <laughs> Lugia and Charizard, they're gonna both be 9.5s, right? What do we got here? 
It's the Charizard! So arguably the most important one. And I forgot to mention that there are no cards in the wild of the staff promo cards for any of these uh, graded at Beckett. So these are the only ones in the world. And these are the first ones in the world for the staff Vivid Voltage cards. So prices for these are really, really scattered. Because um, this is the Charizard. The Charizard's obviously the most valuable one out of all of them. They come in a little pack. Uh, four, four of them in a pack, and you open up that pack, and that's what I did. Now I'm grading them. A 9.5! And it got two tens! Pets on back for everybody! Wow, and this was the one I thought was not going to get graded that well. How about that? So, that is a really strong... Gem Mint 9.5 for the Staff Charizard, the most important and valuable one. Centering got a 10. Surface got a 10. Corners got a 9, so we'll take a look at that. But the edges got a 9.5, and that was my big concern from earlier, was at the very top. More noticeable on the back, but I guess it's me just being crazy. Uh, I thought there was like a little whitening from the, going across the entire top of it just being cut like that way, but I guess not, I'll take it. So the corners got a nine, let's take a look. And it's not just the back, it's just the most noticeable on the back. They're also not perfectly cut. Like you can kind of see it's like kind of square there. that's just how they were cut. It's not perfectly like curved is how a corner should be because otherwise, um, maybe on this one, unless that's on the case, yeah, a little bit of whitening on that one. That would be like a 9.5 corners at worst. Um, somehow it got, sorry for not being in focus. Somehow it got a, uh, a nine for the corners. Um, but the centering and the surface got tens, which is absolutely fantastic, especially for the Charizard, which I do think this is a very, very beautiful card, the illustration. And I know it's Charizard. People may be tired of Charizard, but it's Charizard. And I love Charizard, but he's not my favorite Pokemon. Squirtle is. So there we go. A strong Bugget 9.5 for the Charizard staff card. Very happy about that. Then we got the Lugia, which is the final card. What will it be? I said for my prediction was a BGS 9.5. It's a 9.5! And it got a 10 as well! The surface is a lovely 10, but the rest is 9.5 for centering and edges. And then the corners, once again, were a 9. But I'll tell you right there, it's got to be not because of the whitening or anything of the bends. It's because of how it was cut from the actual factory. Maybe better on the back, but... Uh, noticeable on the back like yeah there's a little bit of whitening at the top right but you can kind of tell it's not perfectly curved curved there at the corners for some of them so that is most likely why especially like down there you can kind of tell it uh in there as well there's not whitening or anything which is great it's just that's how it was printed you know or printed cut out excuse me uh when it was at the factory but a beautiful staff lugia card comes back back at night how about that these ones, these ones all come back a, look at that, that's beautiful. I mean, I wish they would have all been 9.5s, I really do, but what can you do? The best ones, the Charizard and the Lugia came back, Beckett 9.5s, and I'm very, very happy about that. And they're pretty strong ones. This one's not as strong as the Charizard one. Uh, the Charizard one is definitely, but uh, please, please, please let me know in the comment section below your favorite Staff Vivid Voltage card, as well as leave a like as well. I appreciate the support as always, Heart Squad. And that is it for today's Guess That Grade. You want more? Click on those videos right now. My name is Leanheart. Stay awesome, stay positive, and as always, I will see y'all in the next video.